I'm reading out of this book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. And I'm in chapter eight. At the very end of each chapter, it gives you ideas to remember. And there's a few here I wanna share with you. Here's some ideas to remember. Number one, mental coercion or too much effort shows anxiety and fear that block your answer. Easy does it. Number two, when your mind is relaxed and you accept an idea, your subconscious goes to work to execute the idea. Number three, think and plan independently of traditional methods. Know that there is always an answer and a solution to every problem. Number four, do not be overly concerned with the beating of your heart, with the breathing of your lungs, or the functions of any organ of your body. Lean heavily upon your subconscious and proclaim frequently that divine right action is taking place. Number five, the feeling of health produces health. The feeling of wealth produces wealth. How do you feel? Number six, imagination is your most powerful faculty. Imagine what is lovely and of good report. You are what you imagine yourself to be. Number seven, you avoid conflict between your conscious and subconscious in the sleepy state. Imagine the fulfillment of your desire over and over again prior to sleep. Sleep in peace and wake in joy. That's what I like to do. Hey, this book will give you all kinds of tips for all aspects of your life. You have got to get this book. It's for every single person, even you. It's the power of your subconscious mind. It'll set you back less than what? A large pizza, that's what. <laughs> and you'll have this for everywhere you go. You can put this into effect in yourself and you can change your own world. Nobody else can but you. It's all in your thought process and in the power of your subconscious mind. That's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.